This shirt is so freaking extra. I'm so sorry. I know this is a tall channel, but it was never meant for kids anyways. Today, I'm going to answer a question that people ask me a lot. I don't know where the rest of this video is gonna go, honestly, but I might just answer a couple of other questions as well. One question that I get a lot is where do you get your dolls? So, I am from the Netherlands. I live in Europe, so we use different websites usually than the US does. So, for generation one, most of my collection is from Vinted. Honestly, Vinted sponsor me because I've been promoting you guys for like forever and I'm literally telling you guys are a gold mine, but anyways. Um, it is safe for the buyer and the seller. You can find some really, really nice dolls on there if you look long enough and if you like, I don't know, like a couple of years ago, I found some really good dolls for 10 euros, complete with a stand, the diary, the brush and everything and in great condition. Obviously the prices went up like crazy, but there's definitely still some good deals out there. You just need to be aware of them and look for them a little bit. And if you are on Vinted every single day, you're definitely gonna see the good deals. So you just need to hyper fixate on that and then you'll be good. <laughs> so for generation one, that's the app I use most. I never bought from eBay or anything like that but i know in the u.s that's a bigger thing there um all i know is that vinted is super safe and even if there are scammers they always get caught because it's just dumb to try and scam on vinted honestly <laughs> you're not gonna win like i always suggest asking fellow collectors if the price is realistic or not because people say crazy things like even I heard fellow collectors say these things like, oh, but like, she's rare, so she's gonna sell for more. She literally is not rare. Some people don't understand the definition of rare. If a doll is produced less or was not available in most countries and only in this one specific spot, then yes, the doll is considered rare or, for example, the San Diego Comic-Con dolls. But just a regular Playline doll that had, was sold worldwide and was crazy... I just think that's ridiculous. Obviously some people, um, there are some dolls that are exceptions of this rule, but you can't ask that price, I think. Um, so definitely ask fellow collectors. And it's really hard because with some dolls, you're like, oh, I want this doll so freaking badly. So I'm willing to pay more money for it. But just ask your fellow collectors because I'm pretty sure everyone is willing to help. At least I am. So my DMs are always open if anyone has a question about like, hey, is this a good deal? I've had eight people ask me that. I'm always like, yo, it's up to you if you think that is a fair price for that doll, but this would be considered a fair price, you know. And then you can make up your own mind about that. So for my Generation 3 dolls, I actually have a couple of spots where I get them from. First of all, the toy store that I work at, Toy Champ, I get some of my dolls from there. But there's another toy store in my country called Smith's Toys, and they are usually really, really fast with new dolls so that's definitely a good one to go to if you're in the netherlands i don't know i don't know where else these stores are but check it out if you have one in your country <laughs> also amazon uh i bought some of my dolls from amazon.com but also the one from my own country yeah no complaints honestly the only thing that sucks is the shipping but sometimes it's worth it i guess the risk though when you're buying dolls online and i've had this problem myself um when i buy from amazon or when i order from smith's toys because smith's toys is not close to my house it's in amsterdam and it's not too far away from me but you know do i really like i don't want to go there every single time there is a risk that you're gonna get a wonky face or like uh some factory defects i guess <laughs> Which sometimes really doesn't matter. I personally don't mind it too much. I'm like, oh, she's just unique, I guess, and it's fine. Um, but sometimes the wonk is really bad and you're just like, oh, I wish I could have seen the face and picked her out myself. Because that's what I do when I'm in a toy store, you know. I look at all the ones they have. If it's like an open box one, not the Skultimate Secrets, because you can't see them anyway. So it's literally like, oh, I can order them because it really doesn't matter. But when you can see the faces, I always pick out the best looking one and I'm very, very picky. <laughs> very perfection, very per perfect, oh, very perfectionistic. Uh, because if you have the choice, why not pick the best one? 
For my Mattel Creations dolls, I only buy them from Mattel Creations. I kind of low-key refuse to buy from Scalpers, even though I want a doll super badly, like Elvira, Pennywise, and the Grady Twins are ones that I'm still missing, but I refuse to buy from Scalpers because uh, it's insane. The prices are crazy, and I just don't want to support them, even though I want the dolls really badly. Um, I just hope someday they're gonna be restocked or someone is just really nice and wants to sell them for close to the retail price. In my dreams, yeah. <laughs> A bird just flew from my roof. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video was useful. A little bit. I don't know. So, thank you for watching and i see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, I just want to say that I'm so happy to be back. I'm... <sighs> It's really nice focusing on yourself and focusing on what you want to do and what makes you happy and it's fun. I love being surrounded by dolls. Okay, bye. Talk way too much. I can say so little.